gonna make much of a difference. <sighs> We're about to take you on a journey of discovery, on a journey of enjoyment as we continue to build up this platform. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. We wanna continue making this content for you guys and uh, enjoy the video. You guys ready to see our next mods for the BRZ? Clayton, stop playing with the Volkswagen Terribles, Jesus. k and n Now that we've got you guys' attention, uh, time to look at something a lot less exciting. Or you spend all your money on the car, what do you do now? You buy a filter and then you, you feel like a boss when you install it in. But the big question is, how much power do you actually make from this thing? None. This thing though, you make less. We printed this out, 3D printed this out a little while ago. And uh, we've actually had it on the car, we showed you guys what it does, heat soaks and so on, you can watch that episode. However, now there's these questions about the carbon filter in here. So there's a filter, a paper filter, or a k and filter, and then there's a carbon filter. And there's been some, some discussion out there, and there's been some videos showing that removing that carbon filter uh, is going to gain you some power. So instead of tearing apart our emissions legal intake here, we're going to grab this thing again, now that we have tuning software, and we're going to throw it on. So this is as open as you're gonna get there's no carbon filtration. The surface area of this thing is huge. So instead of tearing apart that box, we're gonna throw this back on. We're gonna see if with the tuning software there's anything in it. So without further ado, let's see if Clayton's right and we lose power. Or maybe make some. Let's get to it. Comes in a nice box from k and And if you open the box, you think you're gonna get a massive filter, but actually the box is much bigger then the filter. So this is the same filter, by the way, that's used in the 2017 Plus BRZ and GT86, and it actually fits on the new GR and the new BRZ. This is, this is a super easy install, and if it's worth a couple of horsepower, then why not? It goes a little bit like this. You just pop open the box here, and then it should be really straightforward. So there's this evaporative emission kind of sponge filter that's on there. And then inside here, you have the OEM paper filter. Here you go, OEM paper filter, k and cotton gauze oiled filter. That's about as exciting as filters get. So you're just gonna take this puppy, there's they're gonna drop it in. They call this the gateway drug to modifying because once you see how easy this is, you're like, yeah, all other modifications are just as easy, just as satisfying to put in there. And once you got it in, you clip it back on and there you go. You've got a modded BRZ, GR86, what have you. Super satisfying to do. Now, let's jump in the car and see if the satisfaction turns into any power. Here's the OEM intake, a real nice simple box. So I had a choice here, I was like going to take this apart and see if this is a real restriction in the intake or try something a little different, 3D printed an intake for this car and we found out that once you close the hood, you lose a whole bunch of power because it heat soaks from the oil filter here and the header uh, sitting right underneath it. So I was like, well, now that I have really good data logging capabilities with the AccuTech uh, tuning software, I'm going to drop this back in, I'm gonna data log it once again, and I'm gonna see if with this massive cone filter here and all the air it can get from all around, so no heat soak problems, if I can make more power. And then we'll discuss on whether or not an intake is truly worth it on this car or not, and what to expect. Let's explore the results on the computer that we got from the dyno and you guys can make up your mind whether it's worth playing around with filters or intakes on this car. What you got here is the Canon filter. 
that's it, dropped in a can and filter, same tune, same everything else. Does it make a difference? So I'll tell you exactly how much of a difference it makes. Uh, it makes exactly almost two horsepower, almost two horsepower from the can and filter. Now, guys, two horsepower measured on a dyno, back to back pulls is not enough to even say that that's measurable. It could be just a, a slight variance from pull to pull. So you're talking about something really, really small in terms of uh, whether it made a difference. So the Canon filter, sorry Canon, it's great that it's reusable, re rewashable, but in terms of adding performance over an OEM box, with the carbon filter in place, with an OEM clean filter, it doesn't look like uh, like it holds up to any performance additions. So what we did next is that we put in our own uh, cone filter, and here are the results. So now this is going to this guy. It's got a velocity stack. It's got all the flow capacity that you could ever want. And look at the dyno plot. So. Now, let's give it a little bit of credit, okay? If you're gonna drive your car past like 65, 6700 RPM, yeah, you're gonna make some power. How much power? About four horsepower. So right up here, it's concentrated where you've got four more horsepower from the additional flow of this intake and filter. Everything else kept the same and, and, and maybe one or two horsepower here. But overall, once again, um, if you're spending money on this, thinking whether or not it's gonna make much of a difference, it isn't. The car sounds great with it. It looks cool in the engine bay, but performance wise, you've got just a couple of horsepower. So, as we've seen, the biggest differentiator in this car in terms of hardware parts from what we've tried on so far has been the header uh, and, and very importantly, tuning. So no matter what parts you've got on the car, tuning will always optimize this and make a difference. So if you're gonna spend your money on something, whether the car is bone stock, fully bolted, you know, 91, 93, E85, tuning, 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 it gives you the most uh, bang for the buck, uh, so to speak, and, and the most perceived and real world difference uh, in terms of performance on the car. Otherwise, these parts, they do do a little bit of something, but it's relatively limited as far as we can measure on our dyno on this car. We're embarking on the most exciting part. That journey where you've taken your hard work, you've done your tuning, and now you're gonna go for your first drive and really see what it's about. So our power comes in nice and handy and it's just, you can tell that there's still a, a slight torque gap uh, that the OEM tune had. Now with these headers in the tune, not only have we elevated the power well above what it is stock, but that dip is gone and if anything, we created a little a little torque hump in there. And you know, a lot of that is, is the header design, which we've talked about, but, uh, but of course the tune then took that and, and raised it. And you feel that power increase versus the stock configuration, the stock tune, all throughout the power band. There's, there's really, uh, I mean, there's no downsides here. There's just, there's just upside torque and power everywhere. I think you guys can gather from my from my focused expression and the smile on my face that this is good. Oh, a couple of pops, those are all natural pops. Really great guys, really great. I'm very happy with, uh, with how this turned out and when you guys start tuning your own cars and your own setups, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to how you'll experience this and, and how you'll enjoy it because it really is a nice step up uh, over the two, the, the two liter, the old motor, and uh, then of course getting the 2.4 and then, and then tuning it, uh, you step it up even further. It makes this car, uh, I, think, I think, you know, it's a little early to tell, but really this is the makings of a classic here. <laughs> Keep uh, 
building content for you guys. So we've got a few ideas on, on what to do next on the car. Keep following our channel. Uh, it looks like this car will be seeing some time attack this coming year once we get out of the winter, which is super exciting. So hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.